Hey, hi, hello, class 102. Today we are going to learn about the past tense. Woo, okay, let's get started. What is the past tense? The past tense has to do with when you are doing the action. So if this is the present, meaning right now or today, we already learned about the future, which is after or later or tomorrow or next year. This is the future and there are question marks because we don't really know what is going to happen in the future. Now, if instead of going forward in time, we go back. This is the past. Before, yesterday, or last year. We can remember the past and the things that happen before. Okay? So that's what the past is. Let's have a little review first. So when we have things that are every day, we're going to use the basic verb. This is the present. So for example, you say, I wear, you learn, he works. So with he, there's an S. She eats, we talk, they walk. So this would be the everyday present things that we do. We also saw when things are happening right now, we need the be verb and then the verb plus ing. If you can remember from last semester, we learned about this. So if I'm doing something right now, I am wearing, you are learning, he is working, she is eating, we are talking, they are walking. So it looks a little different. So that's what we learned for the present. Last semester, we also looked at how we express the future. So what that looks like, we put will in front of the verb. So tomorrow I will wear, you will learn, he will work, she will eat. We will talk. They will walk. So will is used to express the future. Not now, later, tomorrow, next year. So that's the future. Now today, we are going to talk about the past. The verbs are going to change again they're going to look a little different. So every verb tense, if it's the present, the future, or now the past, the verb changes. Take a little break now, and let's just look at this cute little puppy. Oh, he's so cute. He looks like he's flying. <laughs> okay, let's get back to work. We are talking about the past tense. We use the past tense to tell stories. We read a lot of stories in our Bridges textbook. The story that we read this week in this chapter, The Weather Changes with the Seasons. It's about a girl, her name is Molly, and she is telling us about the seasons. She's telling us about her year. So let's look at some examples and I will show you what I mean. 
This is a part of the story that we read. Then, last winter, the weather was cold. It snowed outside. So we know that the story is in the past because she has this word last. Last winter. That tells us she's talking about the past. The verbs are in the rectangles. We have the weather was cold and it snowed. Let's think about that. Let's look at another example. It rained too. I sat inside. I wanted to go outside. We looked at the weather on the computer. Looked. I went outside with my mom. I wore warm clothes. I played in the snow. You can see the verbs here. Interesting. Let's look at these words all together now. Snowed, looked, wanted, played, was, went, sat, wore, rained. These are all the past tense verbs. They look a little different. Let me rearrange them. Ah, so you see, I have one group here where the verb ends in ed. So the verb is snow, I say snowed. Play, played. Look, looked. Want, wanted. Rain, rained. So this is one group and we're going to call them normal verbs or regular verbs. And then we have some special ones that don't really fit together. They are just on the outside. They are different. Let's look at the normal verbs first. So if this is the present, we say I learn, I look, I play, I want, I watch, I walked. The future, we add will. And then the past, what do we add? ED. So for normal verbs, if you are writing in the past, you just need to add ed. That's pretty easy. Let's go and take a look at some of these special ones that are on their own. So the be verb in the past is was. Here's the present. I am, you are, he is, she is. We are, they are. Future, I will be, you will be, he will be, she will be, we will be, they will be. We use will. And then in the past, we have was. I was, you were. He was, she was, we were, they were. Okay? Let's take a little break and look at this dog eating a watermelon. A little brain break because you guys are working hard. Also very cute. Okay. Okay, now let's go back to work. We really worked hard here. We talked about the be verb and the regular past tense verbs. Let's do one last little push and look at some of these other verbs. We'll call them special verbs. I go, I wear, I sit, I run, I see, I say. In the present, today. Tomorrow, I will go. Tomorrow, I will wear. I will sit. I will run, I will see, I will say. Now, for the past. Today I go to school, 
Yesterday, I went to school. Today, I wear a skirt. Yesterday, I wore a skirt. Today, I sit. Yesterday, I sat. Today, I run. Yesterday, I ran. Today, I see. Yesterday, I saw. Today I say, and yesterday I said. So, the past is not very easy. For normal verbs, you just need to add ed, like learned, worked, talked, walked, played, jumped, watched. Okay, lots of verbs. You just need to add ed, and this is easy. The hard part is you have to know the special ones. So we're going to practice these more、um, in the next few weeks. So thank you for watching. And this cute little puppy and I wish you a good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.